So this is uh, what we call a skeleton plot, and it's a representation of uh, ring patterns here in the Hamas Mountains over the last 500, 600 years, right? So each of these lines, these pencil lines, is marking off a drought year or a small ring. And what I do is I take my sample, like this one, and I look at the ring pattern, and I'm looking for the wide and narrow rings. And I make another plot, like this one, from the sample. And basically I draw a line, a pencil line, for every small ring, every narrow ring that I see here. I put it on there. And then, uh, of course, I'm looking through the microscope, you know, really closely at the rings and making a judgment about what are those small rings and the large rings. And I make this little plot. And then I take this plot that's from my specimen, and it's a, it's a you know, a, a chart of the, the wide and narrow rings. And those, those long lines are the, the narrowest rings. Those would be the drought years, right? So that's a drought year, that's a drought year, that's a drought year. And then I put a little B where there's a big, a wide ring where it's kind of wetter. So I take this, and then I'm going to try to find where it matches against this. And I start sliding it back and forth, and back and forth. And after, it takes kind of tedious, this part of it, but also exciting because I don't know where it's going to date. And then finally, at last, you know, I will, if I'm lucky, actually, I'll find it matching. So there you can see the match. So it's like all these these rings are matching. The small rings are matching the small rings on the on the graph. And when it matches that good, I know I've got the dating. And so this particular sample comes out to 1844. This is a Viga from an old house in, in Taos, an old uh, in Ranchos de Taos, an old. Um, Hacienda there. This is a, a end of a bee gun that came out of that. So that's how we, we date the tree rings is by matching the ring patterns from the sample with the, the master skeleton plot for the Hamas Mountains.